Summary of the Destructors by Graham Greene At the beginning of the story, we meet the Wormsley Common Gang, a group of 9- to 15-year-old boys who live in a rough part of London and spend their summers playing tricks on people. They meet every day in a place where houses used to stand but are now empty because bombs dropped on England during World War II destroyed them. On the edge of the lot, there is still a beautiful old house that was damaged during the war and is held up by wooden struts. Mr. Thomas, an old, lonely man who used to be a builder and designer, owns this house. The boys make fun of him by calling him Old Misery. The blast broke the plumbing in Mr. Thomas's house, so he uses a toilet outside. A boy named Blackie is in charge of the gang. He cares about being fair and keeping the gang's good name. Trevor is the newest member of the gang. He comes from a better-off family, but his folks have fallen on hard times. Most of the time, the boys would make fun of Trevor's name, but the way he acts makes them admire him. They call the new kid T and let him join the group without making him do anything embarrassing. Mike, who is young and easy to surprise, and Summers, who is more realistic and outspoken, are also in the group. One day, T surprises everyone when he gets to the parking lot late. Blackie asks T where he has been, and it slowly becomes clear that T has been to Old Misery's house and looked around. Blackie thinks at first that this isn't right for a gang member, especially since T says that the house is beautiful. But T says he has a trick up his sleeve that will be more risky than anything the gang has done before, he wants to destroy Old Misery's house while the old man is away for the three-day weekend. Blackie doesn't like this plan, but the group votes on T's idea and decides to go through with it. Blackie is upset at first to see that T has taken over as leader of the gang, but he soon realizes that this will make the gang's name in London even better. He decides to back T. T, who all of a sudden has a lot of confidence and is a good leader, tells the boys to bring tools to help destroy the house, and they agree to meet the next day. When Blackie gets there the next day, he can already hear the damage inside. As he walks through the house, he sees how the boys are carefully ruining everything except the walls, from the floors to the banisters. T is sitting and listening to sounds of ruin. He tells Blackie to destroy the bathroom and says he wants to do something special. After the other boys leave at the end of the day, T shows Blackie the special thing he has found, 71 pound notes, which are Mr. Thomas's life savings. T gets angry when Blackie asks if he plans to steal the money. Instead, he says that they should burn the money as a way to celebrate. Blackie can't figure out what drives T, so he asks if he hates old misery. T says that hate and love aren't real, and that the only things that count are things. Blackie and T race home after they have burned each letter one by one. The next day, the boys keep tearing things up. After taking out each floor of the house, they turn on the water, which flows through the empty building. At that time, Mike runs in to tell them that Old Misery is coming back from his vacation early because it has been raining. Summers says they should run away before they get caught, but T is adamant that they should finish ruining the house. Summers keeps fighting and makes fun of T by calling him by his full name, Trevor. Before the rest of the group can laugh, though, Blackie pushes Summers and backs T. T tells Mike to go outside, stand by the outdoor toilet at Old Misery, and yell for help. Blackie is still in charge, even though T is giving the orders. As Old Misery gets closer to his house, a boy runs up to him and tells him that another boy is stuck in the outdoor toilet. Mr. Thomas is angry that the boys broke into his house, but when he hears the screams of the boy who is meant to be locked in the toilet, he lets T hurry him along, even if it means climbing over his own garden wall. When Mr. Thomas opens the bathroom door to free the boy, he finds himself pushed into the bathroom and the door locked behind him. He cries out for help, but the boy tells him to shut up. He figures out that no one is around to hear him. From the bathroom, he can hear sounds coming from his house that sound like builders at work. The boys finish by hacking away at the house's walls until only a thin strip of mortar holds the building together. Next, they tie the house's wooden supports to the back of a truck that is parked in the lot. T brings Mr. Thomas a blanket and some sandwiches and tells him that they don't want him to be uncomfortable overnight. 
He also tells Mr. Thomas, much to his surprise, that he won't be comfortable in his house anymore. The truck driver comes early the next morning to get his truck. As he pulls away from the parking spot, something pulls on the back fender. Then, there is a huge crash and rubble falls from the sky. When he hears Mr. Thomas yelling from the toilet, he lets him out. When Mr. Thomas sees that his house has been torn down, he cries out, but the truck driver can't help but laugh at the scene. About the author. Henry Graham Greene was born in the south of England into a big, powerful family. He lived on the grounds of the private school where his father taught and then became headmaster. He went to Oxford and studied there. After that, he worked as a writer and also tried his hand at writing fiction. He met his future wife Vivian when she wrote him a message to correct a mistake he had made about Catholicism. He became a Catholic in 1926 and married Vivian the following year. The couple never got a divorce, but they did split up in 1947. Green had many affairs, which gave him ideas for his work. Green had not seen his wife or two children for a long time. Green went all over the world and sometimes worked as a spy for the British Secret Service. He also wrote as a freelance journalist and essayist and gathered information for his many thrillers and more traditional books. He went to countries that were in the middle of wars and revolutions and wouldn't settle down until he was too old to move anymore. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.